Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on software development. In this episode, we will design admin dashboard and user dashboard for our billing and inventory management system. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial series. Let's start our Visual Studio. Then create our new project by clicking on new project here. Uh, you can go to file and go to new and click on project and let's select go to visual c sharp and select windows form application and give the name of your application i will give its name any store and you can change the location if you want but right now i am saving my project on desktop so click on ok this will create our project and a uh, form will be created automatically just make it bigger go to solution explorer and here is our form so I'll just change its name rename frm admin dashboard click on yes uh, we have successfully changed our form name let's change some properties of our form I want this form to be maximized when it starts so let's go to the properties here in text I will type admin dashboard and this text will be displayed here let's see as you can see form 1 change into admin dashboard now change our start position to from windows default location to center screen so it will always open our form in center and windows state from normal to maximized in this way we can set our properties of our form to display on full size full screen size let's see how it looks just click and start so it will run our project so our admin dashboard will look like this it will always be maximized you can minimize by clicking here or make a smaller size by clicking here you can also close our application by clicking on this close icon so I just close it let's add a footer to our admin dashboard for this I will go to toolbox and in search toolbox I will type panel I'll just select a panel and put it down here and I will go to properties and change its name from panel 1 to panel footer and I want this to be docked in the bottom so it will always remain in bottom for that I will go to dock option and I will change its dock properties from none to down here above none footer so it will always remain here then I will change its background color just select the panel and go to properties and go to background back color and select any color you want I will choose a teal color from here this I'll be using this so let's see how it looks so it looks pretty good let's close the application and I will take a label and put it here and write the developers name who develop this application so go to toolbox and search for real label and drag the label and put it on the footer go to properties uh, lbl change its name to lbl footer i will change its text from level 1 to develop by oops 
develop by and I will just type my name you can put yours and I will change it is font color by going to for for color properties here and you can select color like I will select white so it will look pretty good and I will change font from Microsoft Sans to Sego UI and it will be regular and I will increase its font size from 8 to 10 and just click OK so I will just position here and control C yes to save and start our project so that how it so I'll just have to move a little bit to the right you just run the project and check the position and resize it so it looks it looks good for me now let's add some menu bar up here for this we'll close this application and go to tool and in the source box you can type menu and we'll select menu strip and put it up here and here we will uh, add menu which we'll be using later so first one will be users then comes category then products then inventory and then city INS transactions if we use further modules then I will be adding up here by just clicking here I'll just give its name just click on the menu and go to properties and up here just type menu strip 1 to menu strip drop so let's see how it looks so it looks pretty good we haven't connected any forms yet we'll be adding more forms later just I will just type the name of application in the middle and I'll just show the name of user who is logged in let's close the application and add the name of user who has logged into this application for this go to toolbox and again we will use label put it up here and properties lbl user and change its text to user and we will also change its font as well I want its size to be 10 and we will use Sego Sego UI regular okay user and I'll just copy this label control C to copy and control V to paste let's position it and I'll go to its properties and LBL logged in user for now I will be using my name after we create our admin panel we will s select this name from the database we will show the name of logged in user here automatically as soon as the user logs in for now I will type my name just for a demo purpose I want this color to be green so I'll just select a green for color I will use this lime green and increase the font width weight that is bold so just select bold and click on OK so it looks nice to me let's add some name of the application in the middle 
for this I will use label drag and drop label I want to give a bit design to this you can use in uh, image as well instead of label but I'll be using label so name app f name it means it will be apps first name I want to use uh, two different font width for a uh, same name so our apps name will be any store so in the first name I will type any text any is font properties will be sego regular sego UI regular and font size will be 20 okay and control C and control V then I will type the last name L name LBL L name and go to text and it will be store now I want to change is font property font style means font weight to from regular to bold okay so we have used to font width for the same name so it looks pretty cool then we will also add a subheading it will be on same font weight label lbl subhead then go to text and type building and inventory management okay and we'll change it is font properties from 9 or 8 to 14 okay 14 will be good and font name will be sego we will use the same font for our project that is sego ui and i'll use semi bold okay okay i want to change this color from this to little bit a uh, sky blue color so i'll go to its for color property here and change its color from black to maybe medium sea green okay so this is it guys we have successfully named our application and give subheading to our application also showed the name of user who is logged in let's start to show to see the changes it is not in the middle i want this to be in the middle so we'll just reposition reposition it by selecting all of these and moving towards right and down the middle it's not in its full size so it looks weird here but when we see in our application it looks pretty good I think it's it looks good so this is it for our admin dashboard now we will create our user dashboard where user will be managing purchase and sales for our store from here admin will be adding users updating users and deleting users similarly adding update and deleting category similar to the products inventory and from inventory use admin will be able to check uh, the inventory of the products available in the store and transaction you will able to see the transaction of purchase and sales so let's go to solution explorer right click on our any store and add a new item we'll be adding windows form so it will be frm user dashboard and click on add to add the form we will just make it larger and go to properties i want it is windows still from normal to maximize so it will be always be maximized when it opens and text will be 
user dashboard user dashboard the start position will be center screen and I want similar except menu everything will be similar like user logged in user name of the store and footer so first we will add the menu menu for our user dashboard go to toolbox and type menu drag and drop menu strip and add it to the top first user will be using purchase forms and sales forms and inventory this is for it if we add more we'll be adding more up here just rename the name of menu menu strip top now we will be adding all of this from here we'll copy just select all of this and copy to control C to copy and paste it in our user dashboard so it doesn't look good I haven't selected this so I just select control C and paste it in here so this is our footer I will now reposition the name of user up here and reposition I will just first see by running our application so it doesn't show our user dashboard it shows admin dashboard we have to change which form to run at first so go to solution explorer and click on program cs and here from frm admin dashboard we will type frm user dashboard control s to save and click on the start so it will run user dashboard at first it's not in the center we will reposition it by dragging these items to the left i think it will be good start little bit left okay control s and start so it looks fine it's in the center and we can see the name of user so but do we need to change anything we don't need sales from only sales only so I'll change this from sales from the sales only so this looks good so guys thank you so much for watching we have successfully designed our admin dashboard and user dashboard uh, in the next episode we will be creating complete database for our billing and inventory management system uh, so if you like to see more videos like this then don't forget to subscribe and click on little bell icons on the side of the subscribe button so you will be get notified when i upload new videos if you like this video then don't forget to like share on any social platform if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible so see you soon bye bye